Sometimes it's worth shelling out some extra cash for that statue, that art book, that soundtrack, and that race car? For the almost $200,000 price tag. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest video game collector's editions. What the hell? What is going on here? Ugh, get off me! For this list, we'll be looking at collector's editions that even the most hardcore fans may shy away from. We're not just looking at the price tag, although gaming packages that cost more than our home mortgages are certainly questionable, but we'll be looking at the content in these limited editions too. So we can just scratch our heads and wonder, why? Number 10, the Premium Edition, Resident Evil 6. I got a lead. It's not really a surprise to see Capcom on a list that's all about doing something crazy in the name of gaming. However, compared to some of their other collector's items, like a certain impractical controller that doesn't even make any sense within the context of the game since you never use a chainsaw, the Premium Edition of Resident Evil 6 isn't all that terrible. Thank you. Don't get us wrong, the idea of paying nearly $1,300 just to have Leon's jacket isn't really appealing. But it's just pretty tame compared to the other things Capcom has done, particularly for the Resident Evil franchise. I can't believe this is happening again. It's just like Raccoon. But, you know, if you're gonna have Leon's jacket, don't you want the one from Resident Evil 4? <laughs> Number 9. The Really Naughty Limited Edition. Record of Agorist War. Maybe we're getting too used to seeing anime-style girls on pillowcases, or used as mouse pads with their breasts busting out for wrist support. However, I guess this is all run-of-the-mill stuff in Japan. Oh, this was actually in big retailers across the US? Alright, that might be something to talk about. There wasn't even a way to be discreet about this edition. Not when the box was decorated with different girls in questionable positions like All Tangled Up and Sausage Time. <laughs> Hey man, at least porn shops put your purchase in a black bag. Not that we'd know anything about that. <laughs> Number 8. The Zombie Bait Edition. Dead Island Riptide. Oh, my head. <gasps> How do you go from this to this? Have you ever seen something and immediately thought, well, someone is going to get fired for this one? Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Listen, it's not that we don't want cool zombified trinkets in our collections. Give us figurines, give us plushies, hell, we'll even take stickers. But, but this? A bikini-clad woman is one thing, but only having her bitten, beaten, bloodied torso? Just round breasts, blood and scars? Oh, come on. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? Needless to say, people were not happy with the idea, and the publisher, Deep Silver, came out and apologized. But then they released the collector's edition anyway, so lesson learned? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab! Number 7. The Pregnant Alma Statue. Fear 3. Don't worry. I had planned on fathering it all along. Statues of your favorite characters make for sweet collector's editions. In fact, the higher quality, the better. Unless it's our disturbing number 7 pick. We suppose we could have expected as much from a horror game franchise, and we can certainly appreciate neat horror swag, but isn't this a bit much? <sighs> On top of having a naked ghost lady in your collection, you could have a naked pregnant ghost lady in your collection, whose fetus glowed in the dark. Oh my god. I guess creepy, glowing, unborn babies is exactly what we need to have on display in our living rooms. <laughs> Number 6. The Victor Edition. Crater. Have you ever heard of Crater before? Yeah, we hadn't either until we heard about this desperate attempt to garner interest in the game. You're spooking the prey! That's what they're doing! It's an action RPG that you can own for 15 bucks. Or 10,000. Yeah, you heard that right. $10,000. That's gonna buy me a farm far away from all damn food and stupid questions. Maybe it came with a life-size statue of one of the characters? Or hell, maybe even a car? Or, even better, a visit from game designer Victor Magnuson, who would cook a gourmet meal in your home. It's a place full of eccentric people. Oh my god, THE Victor Magnuson? And a fancy meal? Well, when you put it like that, no, still no. And I think I mispronounced his name. <laughs> Number 5. Hand-delivered booth babe souvenirs? Enemy Zero. We're not even sure we can properly explain this one. It's not the enemy corpse that makes us scratch our heads, nor is it the bodily fluid. 
which is kind of gross. We start to question things with the inclusion of the outfits worn by the girls who worked at the Tokyo Game Show booth for this game, because that's a collector's item, right? But wait, it gets worse. The 20 people who ordered this crate, yes, it's actually a crate, got to have the package delivered on a flatbed by the game developer himself, Kenji Eno. Hey, at least it was only $1,700 and not 10 grand, right? Number four, the Trance Vibrator Edition, Res. Trance Vibrator? That can't be what I think it is, can it? Of course not. This was simply a vibrating block that moved in time with the music. That makes sense, right? That is, of course, until a girl puts it between her legs while her boyfriend played the game and then proceeded to write a detailed blog post about it. <sighs> only in Japan. Yeah, that's not a joke, actually. The bundle was only available in Japan. Somehow, developers didn't realize the naughty possibilities of the device. When asked about it, Tetsuya Mitsuguchi revealed that he innocently enjoyed the feeling of vibrations on his foot. Hey man, whatever works for you, I guess. Ugh. Number 3, the Mono Edition, Grid 2. <laughs> and you thought we were kidding when we said race car in the intro. It's been declared to be the most expensive video game commercially available special edition by Guinness World Records. We get wanting to offer something that fits the theme of the game, and we get wanting to have a collector's edition, but really, a race car? Aren't there kind of, you know, licenses you need for those? <sighs> Well, for about $189,000, you could get a PS3, a copy of the game, and yes, a real BAC mono supercar, plus a helmet and a race suit. Given what's included, it does serve as a unique collector's assortment. You also get to spend the day at the BAC factory to have the car customized to your size. At least they took that into account, I guess? Number two. My Apocalypse Edition, Dying Light. You are the biggest liar of them all. We know that there's people out there that like to invest a lot of time and money in preparing for the apocalypse. Well, for about $400,000, Techland will help you out with that. We need you alive, you idiot. This edition comes with a real-world zombie shelter, parkour lessons, night vision goggles, adult diapers, two headsets, an Xbox One, four steelbook copies of the game, a trip to party with the developers, your face in the game, and a human-sized volatile statue. Yeah, you heard that right, an Xbox One. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours. I guess we were on board until they mentioned all that game swag, because do you really need that during the end of days? Before we get to the craziest thing to put in your collection, let's take a look at these bizarre honorable mentions. Number 1, the Super Dangerous Wad Wad Edition, Saints Row 4. <laughs> this Mojo Holix is the epitome of WTF. Here's the world's first and only million dollar collector's edition. No, we're not trying to be funny, that's seriously how much it costs. Ah, oh, f me. On top of getting a copy of the game, because you damn well better, you get a Virgin Galactic space flight, first class trips to Dubai and Washington DC, a Lamborghini Geraldo, a Toyota Prius with a year's worth of insurance, a year of supercar membership, a hostage rescue experience, a spy training day, a personal shopper, a capsule wardrobe, plastic surgery, and a full-sized replica dubstep gun. <sighs> Wait a minute, no console? Screw it then. This is a f***ing joke! I told you, no weapons allowed. But the power of music can overcome all obstacles. Do you agree with our list? Yeah, I doubt anyone does. What's the strangest video game collector's edition you've ever seen? For more collectible top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kinsey, it really wasn't all that... I said anyone.